For me, it all started with my mother, Mamie, who lived with dementia for many years until she died in April 2012. She once described what it was like as being on a long road, getting further and further away from myself. But right to the very end almost of, of her life, she was able to be brought back to a sense of herself and crucially to us as well by music. She'd always loved to sing and she kept singing. She never lost her ability to harmonize and words, words which were otherwise deserting her in droves and making conversations so difficult. They returned as if by magic to her tongue when she was singing. And another one, see, um, something like it. What about? Well, you know, hush, you're weeping, oh, all the wee lambs are sleeping, oh, parties are nestling, nestling together, dream is open Gradually my family realised that we could perk her up or calm her down with those old familiar songs that reminded her who she was. War songs, hymns, Scots ballads, even some of more recent vintage like those from The Sound of Music. Music more than anything else was what was keeping my mother with us. It's a lovely day tomorrow. Tomorrow is a In time, I came to understand that this was more than just a lucky effect on one woman. Research revealed that personally meaningful music offers a virtually universal key to unlocking individuality and supporting family and wider social connections. And so I founded Playlist for Life. Our core message, that a carefully selected personal playlist can give people the solace and security of their own music at any time of the day or night. That it can make people feel better. That it can connect the people we love, the people we care for, not just to us, but to that elusive, precious thing, their selves. And every little thing looks great. Just forget the troubles and learn to sing. Tomorrow is a lovely day.